Yes, we are. So let's play this last part. That sounds good. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Pentatonic Parallel Part 10, Shadow Elements. In today's stream, we did some reflection about our 10 scales that we're working with and how are we going to compose further melodies and music snippets from here. We did a kind of a theoretical re review exercise, not off stream, but here's the result. We said standalone notes are static. Standalone chords are static. They don't go anywhere, but they have a certain energy impact. Sequential notes and chords are dynamic, and sequential notes are what we call figures or melodies, and sequential chords are what we call cadences. So after that, we said we're going to continue to work on our melody compilation score, and we're going to start adding basic and extended figures. And what we've done is we've created a template to work with all 10 scales. And here they are, the bright scale, the shadow common scale, the shadow uncommon scale. And in fact, these numbered scales here. And we're going in a particular sequential order to enumerate these. And that's indicated by these numbers on the left. But all that matters is that there are 10 of them. And so the progress we've made is we have enumerated what we call ramps up and down for all the scales and began enumerating hops up and down. And our next steps are to continue. So this is the bright scale. And it's simple ramp up and down are like this. It's hop is like this. Then this is the shadow common scale. That's the ramp up and down. This is the hop. Then we finished the ramps up and down for the rest of the scales. And just for grins, we'll play them. Now, before we finish the rest of them, the reflection that we had is when we hear notes one after the other, they're dynamic and we start to hear intervals in there. For example, listen to this again and compare how that feels to this. So we'll keep going here. Here's the full. On this dark scale, we really hear a difference to this, which is not unexpected because that's the 3 4 4 3 scale, and that is our classic minor and major difference. But even up here in the 2 7 7 2, there's a little difference you can hear in there. And here's the full element. So that concludes this stream. And as said before, we're going to keep enumerating our hops up and down. Then we're going to be doing double hops, single rolls, and double rolls. And what do those mean? Well, tune in next time and find out. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. And as always, keep on streaming.